Welcome to another Pike and Shop battle using Kronos's Steel of Glory 2 Features mod. It's going to be a paired match against Kronos. I have the Anglo Dutch, or wait, nope, this time just the Dutch against the French. French army is pretty deadly. It's got shock cavalry and impact foot. Uh, so we have to hope to grind them down with firepower, which is going to be a tall order. So I could actually try to turn March away to realign my army. But on the other hand, this rough ground is kind of helpful for deadening his impact. Uh, well, either way, this right wing will be moving forward. Great, uh, yeah, let's move away as far as we can, anyway. Something like that, so I'll kind of line like there ish, maybe. Next turn. Great, run away. Any veterans? No, no, okay. Next turn. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna kind of be a problem. Okay, so he's going to yield me the high ground, so I can turn back around. <laughs> Alright, should I pack up the guns to move forward? No point, it's too far anyway. Here, get in there. Yeah, we need to hide from shelling.
Yeah, we'll continue our little dance. I, again, need to avoid fighting uphill. I can do that by just standing off at musket shot. But I don't want to be uphill along the whole line, right? So if I could be flat ground part of the way at least, that'd be nice. Next turn. Yeah. And they're advancing again. And then we fall back again, etc. The thing is, I'm just I'm not gonna fight uphill here. I'm just not gonna do it. And I'm not gonna rush uphill to avoid the hill into charge range of impact, but again, just not going to do that. Just get out of line of sight. <sighs> Could get dangerous. We'll see. Maybe I'll have to advance the long musket shot eventually, but I really would prefer to avoid this terrain here. Next turn. Yep, it's just, just not happening. Four units of high quality cavalry, as opposed to five, eh, we have a couple veteran unarmored, which is okay. Maybe combine with the hills, they can do all right. Next turn. Dragoons up there for starters. Shift more cavalry over and threaten once again to move forward. OK, 
good hit. Okay, they'll prepare to move soon. What do we got? Too much cavalry to deal with with just trashy unarmored horse. But these can move into engage if and when the infantry can move up in contact first. Next turn, I see. Is that why he was playing for time? What is it though? Shock cavalry? Huh. Okay, they are moving back, so we should be able to actually crest this ridge and engage. So, let's see. Something like that, yeah. Let's shift everyone over to the left. Be ready to intercept this cavalry. Wait, and we need to be ready to dump all these horsemen into the woods if he starts rushing towards us so they can just hold out. The uh, impact mounted will not come into play in not open terrain. So another thing we could consider is sitting on this rough ground, but that would probably expose us to an extended period of uh, getting shot at, which no one likes. Next turn. Okay, let's keep shifting over. Get up this damned hill. They're back there. All right. And otherwise we can wait. No need to engage the cavalry, really. I guess we can hop from terrain to terrain, uh, since everybody will be disordered if we fight in terrains better for our worst cavalry. Next turn. Okay, they're not going for my guns, so we don't care about them. This is a problem, we're a bit outnumbered on that side. 
Oh, for Christ's sake, why is that on? Uh, no. I think I'm a bit past needing the helper mode. Thank you. Take the high ground, but not really much point. Pull away. Veterans. Mm. Can't really fight that with trash cav. Our only hope is to try to win here before anything bad happens in the flanks. Next turn. That's a problem. We're going to have to flee into the woods with our shitty cavalry. Yeah. Okay, well, Damn. Run. Decide what way to go with this unit later. Here. Wait in the forest to intercept. Okay. Next turn.
Ouch. Impact charge. Held firm somehow. Okay, well, we can just, uh, hmm, prepare to pursue, hide in the forest. Even in the woods, we can't win this fight, but we can delay while we hopefully win elsewhere. already fired them okay well fire good then what Ugh. Get one more to try to push over there against this foot. Hide in the rough. Hide in the rough. Withdraw. Take a pot shot. I think wait, depending on what his cavalry does, right? In fact, we might want to wheel these guns around to cover this area. Next turn. There's the bad thing. Hold firm, at least for now. Impact. Hold. Impact again. Nice. They were disrupted and we have the light guns to assist in that.
Okay. Well. Fire. Damn. Well, we would stand impact. It should be okay. It's fine. Take cover. Hide. Turn. <sighs> Let's see. Pile in. Hmm. Go for a break. Force him to turn, hover, wait, light him up, not bad. Next turn. Oh, too bad. Good, we held it thanks to the light guns. And impact. Could be worse. Impact again, we hold. And impact, we hold. Bounce a horse. It's even, also, who cares? Zone this out, but really that means he's zoned out too. Rough ground, so shot cap does not apply. Impact, hold, because they're disrupted. Okay, well, for starters, you can prepare to pop back out. Hit these cavalry units while they are disordered. Keep pressing. See if we can't score. Auto break, yep. Then light them up. Hmm, that's too bad. Face off then. Fire. Fire. But what if we... There it is. Do you hold? Yeah. Okay, then prepare a flank here. Mm, I wish I had moved this unit first. This one is. Shit. 
shift uh, past or over. You get behind, you shift over. Right, this whole situation, yeah, you face off there, that's fine. You're gonna die, is what it is. You can zone that out. Okay, yeah, our cavalry are just all gonna die, and that is what it is. Oh, what a shame. We're gonna get lit up. Well, um... Hmm. That's an interesting option. All right. So yeah, it doesn't really matter if the cavalry all die. Our infantry fight is mostly looking good. We should be able to start breaking up the remaining infantry here. I mean, we'll probably lose this unit, but other than that, uh, and then we don't really have to worry about the cavalry. Next turn. Oh, rude. Keep bouncing that. Nice. We just keep holding out. Good. Excellent. That's gonna hurt. It's gonna be... yep. Oh, we are uphill. That'll help temporarily. Veteran armored. Okay. Let's set up an auto drop. Keep on that. Okay. You. Do we even need you to flank? No, they're about to auto break, so we don't care. Lovely. Break, and then we follow, it's going to say follow through. Damn, what happens here then? Hold firm, okay. Damn. Well, you're dead then. You're also dead. I mean, all this cavalry is basically doomed, but it's kind of okay. Let's threaten a charge there. Nice. Excellent. Set up a drop, right? No? Okay. All right. And the GG. I mean, we don't have it quite yet, but presumably this turn.
Oh. Nice. Yeah, horrible shock impact. Oh, lucked out on that one. Ooh, nice empty wave, yeah. There it is. Lucky, thank you, Hill. So, our cavalry, grossly inferior. Our infantry, superior. At least in terms of firepower. So, you know, here we've delayed engagement by using terrain and spreading out. Uh, he did force me to come back in by throwing my flank. That is costing me a couple of units here. But, I mean, that's okay. Because we're winning in the center where we have slightly more and uh, better shooting infantry. And you have to close in for the impact charges and that cost him. On the left, we used rough terrain for our terrible cavalry to survive longer. And now we have an auto drop set up into a disordered unit. So, you know, if you have better infantry, you delay on the flanks. If you have better cavalry, you delay in the center, and that's what this was. So, good game to Kronos. And hopefully, I'll try to see if I can persuade him to upload uh, this module also for FOC features.